So, we've walked the beat. Yes, we've have. seen a bit of the area. When Charlie was here, it was the late 1930s. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, the war yeah. was breaking out. And he was a copper during the Blitz. So, this was a reality yeah. of what was going on in London. Yeah, look at that. So, basically, his beat, he was in K Division, was the East End, and you've got the docks, mm -hmm. you've got all the railway and goods yards here. So London the was on fire, wasn't it? Yeah, everything was getting blown to bits. The local policemen are basically pulling people out of burning buildings. The fire brigade are going there and fighting the fires and all the rest of it, but the copper is probably, because he lives locally, he's the one that's the first on the scene. Fascinating. It's an amazing story. It is. But we didn't come to London specifically to be a constable. If you look on there, and this is the register entry from 1939, I'd like to read out, find the Bicknell entry. Charles Bicknell, professional footballer. Yes, hey, professional a footballer. Professional footballer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he got spotted for Chesterfield, so then he becomes a professional. He works his way up, gets spotted again by a London club. That London club was West Ham United. To West Ham. West Ham. He was a, a, a back. He was described as, a, you know, as, as strong as a horse. And he got so good for West Ham that they made him captain. Wow. They should what? give me a season ticket, shouldn't they? <laughs> they'll probably give work you... work on that. They'll they? give you a golden chariot and take you up and down the Bow Road, probably. <laughs> yeah. Captain. Captain of West Ham. He played 149 games for oh, West Ham nice. in the FA Cup and the Football League. He's at the peak of his game at the time. But we're in 1939, the war comes, what happens? They stop the Football League, they stop the FA Cup, football's over. They'd seen what had happened on the continent, they were expecting to be bombed. And they said, we can't have these 30, 40, 50,000 people in an arena and the German bomber comes over, that's, that's it. Mm. So, basically, football stopped. So, he's working for the police, so he carries on doing that. But football's a morale booster, it's part of our culture, we can't let the Germans see that they're beating us. Winston Churchill recognised this and he said, OK, we're going we're gonna to have some matches, but we can't do what we did before because it's too risky. We don't want people being killed at football matches if there's a, if there's a raid. So we're going to bring back a, a, like a cut-down version of the FA Cup. We're going to call it the War Cup. And West Ham is in it, Charlie is the captain, and they get a chance to play for the War Cup. So and how, how did they do? How did they do? Well... Played Chelsea twice, beaten twice, they played Fulham, they played various <laughs> other others. In the final? At Wembley. At Wembley. Versus Blackburn Rovers. I just got tingles then. Blackburn. You have a relative played that's in... played football at Wembley. Yeah. So the captain of West Ham playing at Wembley for the equivalent of the FA Cup, the War Cup at yeah. the time. Yeah. Did he win? Did well. He win? Blackburn They're Rovers under were pretty good at the time, weren't They're they? under pressure. Defence saves, saves the day for West Ham. They win it 1-0. <gasps> so the first ever War Cup... They won it. They won it. It is an amazing story. It is. I mean, You why... woke up this morning not knowing yeah. that you've got a footballer in the family, but not only a footballer, a captain of West Ham... And a policeman. ..playing policeman as well. in <laughs> the War Cup final and winning. Yeah. Well, it's only one right place to finish this story. You're Olympians. You've got a West Ham captain in your family tree. So I think it's safe to say that West Ham think enough of Charlie Bicknell that they've invited you over to the Olympic Stadium. I might get the box after all. <laughs> <laughs> We were there for the Olympic For the opening, opening. ceremony, okay. yeah. so we were yeah. in the and crowd And so set. we were there, and now for it to be the home of West Ham. And it gives it another dimension now, Absolutely. doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's amazing. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> let's go.